my mother. See, and business has not been working. Meanwhile, God wants me to prophesy on that business. You don't understand. Faith is rich. Faith is rich. So God told Abraham, He said, Carry Isaac, the one you love. He did not even have to spell it out. Carry Isaac, the one you love. Take him. I will show you the place where you will sacrifice him. Abraham did not say, God, are you okay? You know, there are things, instruction God will give you. You now say, God, let us talk. Are you sure you are okay? This is the son I've been looking for for years. You gave me the son and you are telling, God, are you fine? You will need to ask him if he's, if he's okay. The guy did not say anything. He just said, okay, yes, sir. Package the son, carried everything early in the morning. Did not even tell his wife. You see, white, you are a man here. There are things you do not, you should not tell your wife. The Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus. Imagine he told the wife, the wife would say, what? I carried this baby for nine months. Which God? Sacrifice what? In fact, if the wife finished talking, even the strength to carry out the instruction, it would disappear. <laughs> and the guy just packaged everything and went. In fact, he got to a place, he told the servants, he said, stay here. Let me and my son go yonder. Let's go and worship God there. Faith is rich. Imagine you have only 10,000 naira in your account. And the Lord said, carry the 10,000. Go and give a post to you. say, eh? Give a post to. I saw a post to in church shining. Me that I'm almost dying. I'm a student. You say I should carry it. God, mind yourself. Just. You have to want God. Faith is risk. It's risky. To obey God is risky. Because the things that are in the spirit, they supersede the things that are in the physical. Hallelujah. So the only language the spirit understands is faith. When you throw faith to the realm of the spirit, the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to do what? To please God. Note this. Carnality is the practice of Christianity without faith. This is my definition. That carnality is the practice of Christianity without faith. Remove faith from Christianity. What people practice is carnality. Physical realms only is carnality. 
Because we do not walk by sight. We walk by what? By faith. And faith is the assurance of the things that we hope for. That means those things are in the realm of the spirit. We are hoping to receive them. What is hope? Hope is expectations, right? That's what hope is. Expectations. And every action that is taken by conviction that only comes from this physical entity is better out of carnality. So we take our convictions from the realm of the spirit. Faith does not consult the realm of the physical to take action because realities are formed in the realms of the spirit. The physical realm is only manifestation of what has been concluded already. Do you understand what I just said? Faith does not need to consult the realm of the physical to take actions because the realities are formed True realities, genuine realities are formed in the realm of the spirit. The physical realm is only but a manifestation of what has been concluded already in the realms of the spirit. So if somebody died physically, the person died in the spirit first. Hallelujah. Before the person. Have you heard of people who slept and dreamed that they shot them gone at the chest. They woke up their final. But after one week, after one month, they died. They are already dead in the spirit. They have been killed in the spirit. It's only a matter of time it begins to manifest. When you begin to fail in the spirit, sir, it's not that you will fail. You are already a failure. Somebody, just follow me, follow me. The things you see manifesting in the physical realm is a conclusion of what has happened in the realm of the spirit already. These things are just manifesting. I remember some years back when I gave my life to Christ. I started having terrible attacks. In my dream, people will come. They want to kill me. Some will come to tie my hand. All kinds of... I will fight in the realm of the spirit till I wake up on my bed. It was terrible. It lasted for more than three to four months. I was struggling. It was a fight. And God helped me. I was able to connect to a prayer team. Hallelujah of you who are in Gami, you know of what I'm saying. I was able to connect to a prayer team and it was through those prayers that God brought deliverance to my life. And I saw the reason why the enemy was attacking. The enemy was attacking me because of what I'm doing now. Do you understand? He's trying to stop me from doing this. So that fight, it supersedes my generation. It was a transgenerational battle. It is something that is coming from my lineage. My father was an imam. It's not, it's not this nonsense people do that they are imam. I mean strong imam, conk one. The one that prepared champ. That's the kind of imam he was. When I, I went to get, I, we went for marriage. So I took my wife. Hmm. I took my wife to, somebody say hmm. Hallelujah. So I took my wife to my uncle and my uncle looked at me and said, come, let me tell you a story about your father. Sit down.